all the math skills you've learned in, during unit three, uh, which will be on your test. Uh, some of the skills will be measuring and drawing angles. And as we do them, okay, please pause after every question and try to do it yourself in your notebooks and then play to see if you did it correctly. Okay, so pause, do the question on your own, play to see the answer. Okay, and then pause again for the next question. So let's see what we have. We're going to look at measuring and naming the angles. So not only just measuring with your protractor, but also naming them. Is it obtuse? Is it reflex? Is it a straight, a right angle, acute? Defining angles, what makes or what constitutes as an acute angle? What constitutes as an obtuse, a reflex, or a right angle? Place value. Place value will be a review on this test. We've already done it in the previous uh, test. And uh, place value. Place a four in the ones place, a seven in the thousands place, a one in the tenth place, and so on. Uh, drawing uh, polygons using your geometry templates, you're going to draw different uh, polygons. Comparing polygons. What's the difference between a scaling triangle and isosceles triangle? Okay. Uh, or an equilateral triangle. Okay. Well, I could say that what they have that is the same is that, or how are they similar is that they're all triangles. And how is a scaling different from an equilateral? An equilateral has all equal sides and angles, and a scaling has all different lengths and uh, different angles. Identifying polygons. Okay, what's a hexagon, a pentagon? What is a um, rhombus? Uh, finding the missing angles. Remember that we a, a full circle has to be 360 and uh, straight is only 180. Well, by knowing that, you can find the missing angle. You might be given in a triangle. If you have an equilateral triangle and you have 60 and 60, there's going to be one angle missing. Well, add it up to 180. 60 plus 60 is 120. You need another 60 for 180, so it would be that would be the missing angle. Um, adjacent and vertical angles. Okay, adjacent means next to, and vertical means across. And making tessellations. A tessellation cannot have anything overlapping, and cannot have any gaps. The polygons must fit perfectly together. Okay. Now let's let's do an example of each one. And as I mentioned, please write down the answer, write down the question in your notebooks. Pause. Do it and then play it to see if you did it correctly. You will only benefit from this video if you pause and try the question on your own. Don't just copy straight through, otherwise it's not really challenging to you and you're not really studying at that point or reviewing or challenging yourself to remember all these skills. Okay, please make the most out of this video. Let's get started with measuring and naming angles. For measuring and naming angles, you might get a question such as this with three different um, angles and you will have to label them or name them and measure them. For example, G. We know that it is, this is the angle we're trying to measure inside, okay? And we also know that it is le less than 90 degrees because the 90 degree point would be straight up from there. That would make it 90. Considering that this right here is our base. This is our zero and we move up this way to 90. Well it's right in the middle there. If I had to estimate because it's between 90 and zero I would estimate that it's about 40 or 45 degrees. Okay, This is where you use your practor, uh, protractor boys and girls and measure that. Okay, um, And continuing let's see if I had to estimate this one I'll use this as my baseline and my 90 degree would probably go straight up as so on as so. Okay, so I can tell that if this is my zero, I can tell that it's going to be more than 90 degrees. And we know that any angle that is more than 90 degrees is an obtuse angle. So here we have acute, and right here we have an obtuse angle. Okay, and then over here, if I were to use this line for um, the third angle, if I were to use this line as my, not, as my zero, 
I know that my 90 degree needs to come out a little bit more straight this way, okay, to make it a 90 degree there. So I know that this is less than 90, and any angle that's less than 90 is acute. But you would have to, boys and girls, use a protractor to give me the exact, the exact measurement. Okay? So if you need to um, review on how to use a protractor, there are two lessons on our webpage that show exactly how to use a protractor. If you just move down, I think it's lesson 3-6. There's one on just using protractors. You can see right here on our classroom webpage in the math section, you go down to the videos, unit three, you will see it right there. Using a protractor, lesson three dash four. And this will be a nice review on how to use a protractor properly, in case you don't remember. Next, we're going to define angles, defining angles. Take a look at this image. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So it's little, okay? It's anything less than the straight line from down. So it's, it's smaller, and we tend to remember because it's acute, like a acute angle, a little one, it's cute. And then we have a right angle is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees, no less, no more. It's exactly 90 degrees. This is the type of angle you would find in a square or a rectangle. Obtuse. An obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 but less than 180. 180 would be across the bottom, a straight line, but it is less. It's up this way, but it's more than 90. Here would be the 90, and it would be more. Somewhere in between here is the angle. This is probably the bottom of a rhombus or parallelogram or even the corner of a trapezoid. And then we have our straight angle, which is exactly... 180 degrees it goes from 0 to 180 or you can say 0 to 180 and it goes all the way across like that and then we have a reflex angle which is the anything outside the angle so if we have an angle in here which inside here it would be an obtuse it's just this upside down you see it if this would be obtuse and outside anything outside the angle is considered a reflex and then you have the full rotation with 360 degrees. Please pause and um, memorize these facts. So now let's do question one. I want you to, for the next three angles, I want you to uh, name them or label them and give me the exact measurement, the exact angle using a protractor. I know this will be difficult, but make this video full screen on your computer and bring up your protractor as well as you can onto the image so that you can get an approximation. If I noticed in class that you got, let's say, 79 degrees or 78 degrees, I know that you tried to do it correctly. So try using your protractor right on the computer screen or on your tablet. This would be question one. Okay, so go ahead and write this as question one. And you have A, B, and C. Please um, give me the exact angle and give me the name of each one. Question one. Pause it now. Now let's practice place value. Go ahead and complete this right here. You can pause the video now and complete this and we will check our answer in just one second. Go ahead and pause the video. Okay, now that you've completed your answer, let's work on this. Uh, let's check it together. We have uh, three in the hundredth place. Well, I first have to identify where the decimal is. There it is. This is the tenth. This is the hundredth. So, three in the hundredth, six in the ten thousands, ten thousand. Here's the one, ten, hundred, thousands, ten thousand. Well, six in the ten thousand, four in the thousands. Pay attention to the thousands, thousandth place. Tenth, hundredth, thousandths. There's our four. Five in the hundred thousands place. 100,000. Well, we just identified this as 10,000, so this must be the 100,000. And 2 in the tens place. 
ones, tens, tens, not tenths, just tens. Two right there. And let's see, and zero in all the other places. Oh, that's easy. Zero, 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 and zero. Now we are asked to write the numeral in words. You should write the number five hundred sixty thousand twenty and thirty-four thousandths. That's what you should be writing, boys and girls. Okay, moving on to drawing polygons. I will tell you the name of the polygon you must draw, and you will draw it in your notebook. Draw a scaling triangle. Pause now and draw it. A scaling triangle should be a triangle or is a triangle with three different lengths. So you can see that this length is different than this length and different than this length. And because the lengths are different, also the angles will be different. So you can label it as so. This is one length, this is two length, and this is a third different length. Draw an isosceles triangle that is not equilateral. Not equilateral. So isosceles, remember an isosceles has two, at least two lengths that are equal and one that is not equal. So go ahead and pause the video and draw one. This would be an example of an isosceles triangle. As you can see, this length here is different than this one, but this one is the same as this one. So at least two sides are equal in length. And draw a third triangle. This time draw an equilateral triangle. Keep in mind that an equilateral triangle has equal lengths. All three are equal lengths. And this is what your equilateral triangle could look like. As you see, they're all labeled the same because they're all equal. Now we're going to look at comparing polygons. Take a look at these three scaling triangles. Please tell me how these three triangles are similar. Well, if you pause the video, you can go ahead and write how you think they're similar. And then, that's your first point, and then how are they all three different? So compare and contrast all three scaling triangles. Go ahead and pause, and you can write your answer right there or on your notebook. How are all three triangles the same? Well, they're all triangles. All of them are considered triangles. How are they different? They all have different lengths. So. This is how scaling triangles compare. They're all triangles, that's how they're the same, and they all have different length, that's how they're different.